Good day everyone, this is Mr. Bryle T. Cruz, your Earth and Life Science teacher for this first semester. Let's begin our subject orientation for today. Again, I'm Mr. Bryle T. Cruz, your Earth and Life Science instructor. For anything else, I would like to welcome you to this school year 2020-2021. Due to the pandemic that we are encountering at this moment, the Department of Education have provided the most essential learning competencies in our subject. To begin with, for our first grading period, here are the topic outline. First, we are going to learn about Earth and its subsystem. Second, rocks and minerals and its properties. And third, the plate tectonic. For the fourth topic for the first grading period, we are going to deal about the formations of layers of rock together with the number 5 topic, the difference between relative and absolute dating. Our sixth topic for the first grading period will be Earth's geologic timescale. We are going to learn here why do dinosaurs got extinct? And we are going to describe some various hazards that affects the extinction of these organisms. For the next lessons, we're going to identify prone hazard areas using hazard maps, identifying hydrologic hazard prone areas using hazard maps, and describe the coastal process. While for the second grading period, we are now dealing here about the life science, wherein we're going to introduce the concept of life based on the emerging pieces of evidences and followed by the discussion of ecosystem and how the abiotic and biotic factors interacting with one another. Next topic for the second grading period will be the different types of reproduction known to be the sexual and asexual reproduction followed by the different organ and body systems and how does this system interacting with one another. We are going also to discuss here about evolution and the different biotic potentials and environmental resistance. For the grading systems, you will be graded based on the following. First is quizzes, followed by preliminary examination. Third is performance task which is divided into two, individual authentic assessment and your task sheets, and lastly, your periodical test. Earth and life science is a core subject. Here is the percentage of each component. For the written works, quizzes 10%, preliminary exam 15%, for a total of 25%. Performance tasks, your individual authentic assessment 35%, Task sheets or activity sheets 15%, a total of 50%. And for your quarterly or periodical test, it is 25%, for a total of 100%. For this subject, you are required to have the following. First, we have your whiteboard and marker for our Zoom interaction, followed by your e-textbook. Next is your official email account that you're going to use from the beginning of the semester up to the end of this school year. And lastly, some applications to be downloaded using your mobile phones like Zoom and Cam Scanner. Let's proceed now to the different rules and regulations. First is Students are expected to follow the set of rules stipulated in the handbook at all times. Next, students are expected to submit all the requirements on or before the set deadlines to avoid deductions. Third, special examinations or quiz will be taken on the set date given by the instructor, failure to take the test meaning zero to the said quiz. Number four, no one is allowed to do recording such as screen recording or screenshotting. Next, for Zoom meeting, kindly indicate your full name and use only the email account that you are officially submitted on the survey. Next, ask questions directly after each Zoom meeting. Then, in case of technical problems, evidences must be presented to the instructor. 
For activities or task sheets, complete solutions must be submitted in PDF or JPEG format. That's why I'm asking you to download the CAM scanner or any applications that you can use in scanning or capturing pictures of your solutions. Then, questions will be entertained during the class hour. And, when someone's talking, especially during our Zoom meeting, you better listen. If you have any questions, you can email me directly at cruzbrile.pcshs at gmail.com. Thank you and God bless us all.